پاکستان انسٹیٹیوٹ آف ملٹری ہسٹری کے ڈائریکٹر جو ان دنوں امریکہ کے دورے پر ہیں جس کا مقصد امریکی کانگریس میں پاکستان آرمی خلاف دائر ایک قرارداد کا جواب دینا ہے جس میں الزام لگایا گیا ہے کہ انیس سو اکہتر کی جنگ میں پاکستان آرمی نے دو ملین بنگالیوں کا قتل عام کیا تھا یہ قرارداد انڈین امریکن کانگریس مین راؤ کھنہ نے امریکی کانگریس میں دائر کر رکھی ہے جس کو کانگریس وومین شیلا جیکسن نے انڈورس کیا ہے جن کو پاکستان کا حال ہی میں اعلی سول اعزاز بھی دیا گیا ہے Tonight uh, is a pleasure, thank you to Dr. Mustafa and his family that brought us here. Our mission is big, our mission is honest, with integrity, having peace all over, and this is the mission of the school, this is the mission of all of you over here, and this is the mission of this country that uh, we are lucky that we are here. In قرارداد میں جالی حقائق ڈالے گئے ہیں جس کا مقصد محض پاکستان آرمی کو بدنام کرنا اور قرارداد منظور کروا کر افواج پر جنگی جرائم کا کیس اقوام متحدہ میں ڈالنا ہے ڈائریکٹر ناصر شفیق نے امریکی کانگریس مین ٹام جونیئر کو حقائق پر مبنی پاکستان آرمی کی طرف سے ایک ڈوزیئر بھی پیش کیا جس میں انیس سو اکہتر کی جنگ میں اصل حقائق ثبوتوں کے ساتھ پیش کیے ہیں اور کانگریس مین سے استدا کی ہے کہ ایک تحقیقاتی مشن بنایا جائے جو اصل حقائق کی تحقیقات کرے اور پاکستان آرمی کا موقف بھی سنے پاکستان to bring peace in the Middle East and in the region. Pakistan's mountainous region, the foothills of Himalayas, the Gilgit Baltistan cap that was presented to the chairman of the Foreign Affairs Subcommittee. This is the place that oversees China. This is the mountain that oversees South Asia. This is the mountain that oversees Central Asia. This is the mountain that gets to the exit point of Middle East. In order to bring that peace, in order to look to the ISR, intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, Pakistan is vital to U.S. national security. I must tell you, we cannot leave Pakistan alone. We cannot isolate Pakistan. And ba- Baba Munde, is here who gave me the support of the 144 million members of his community who can constitute 40 percent of the population of Albania, Macedonia, Kosovo and a number of areas and thank you very much Baba Mundi in providing that support to us. United States believes in diversity, in the empowerment of women's rights, in promoting the rights of the minority in different parts of the world. And in doing so, United States would support all those democracies. The rule of law, it says. Pakistan has faced peaks and valleys. There has had been trust deficit between the two countries. But we well know that had Pakistan been not there, the hegemony of the United States as a unipolar world with this dismantling of the Soviet Union would not, was not possible. 
without the support of the Pakistan's armed forces and Pakistan's establishment. It was Pakistan that supported us in the war, expansionist designs of the Soviet Union in Afghanistan. And today that Soviet Union does not exist on the map of Earth. It is Pakistan that has played the pivotal role after the 9-11 terrorist attacks. Pakistani forces gave 60,000 lives in fighting the terrorists in the region. However, we do understand that there is a trust deficit. We do understand that Osama bin Laden was recovered from one of the security zones in Pakistan. We do understand that mistakes are done. Like Hillary, Cl Hillary Clinton admitted that we left the Mujahideen alone after the war in, of the Soviet Union in Afghanistan. That was a US mistake. We do mistakes. We are human beings. But we have to move forward. Do not look back. We have to look ahead of us for the future, future generations. Pakistan has to play a pivotal role in bringing peace in the Middle East. The Abraham Accord. Why not? Pakistan has to play a key role in getting peace in the Middle East among civilizations. And the hatred and intolerance in the civilization has to go. We believe that we as Pakistani Americans have to play as a bridge in this trust deficit relationship. Let us rise to the occasion and become part of history. These are the defining moments of history. And I appreciate your coming in here and listening to our conversation and exchanging views. And thanks to Congressman, the voice is heard. There was a piece of paper submitted to the Chairman of the Foreign Affairs Subcommittee on some of the facts related to the 1971 war in East Pakistan. I want to make it a record that we and the Congress would look to it seriously. We want to help Pakistan. We want to help all peace-loving nations across the globe. Congress mein Tom Jr. ne apne mukammal taawun ki yakin dahani ki hai. Takreeb mein Pakistan Policy Institute ke chairman Dr. Mushtaba ne khitaab karte huye kaha ke Pakistan ko tanha nahi chhoda ja sakta aur is kism ki saazishon ka mukabla kiya jayega Pakistani American community bhi apna kirdar ada karegi. About 30 years of my life uh, I've been very active in Pakistan uh, because of a very close friend of mine by the name of Captain Shaheen. Many of you I'm sure know him. He's today theater differences as objects of beauty and, and opportunities to learn about each other. So I look forward to a lifetime of learning from each other and, uh, and working together to solve the problems of the future. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm just a small time mayor, so I'll be very, very brief. Uh, I am honored to be in the presence of Dr. Mushba and his uh, family. And I'm also honored to be in the presence of the Baba Mushdi. Baba Mushdi is a man of peace and he is... I'm honored to be among such prominent and influential people who value human rights and equality and who tirelessly give of themselves for the greater good of all. A pivotal role in the Middle East peace process with leaders. He is a friend of Pakistan and a friend of Shabazz Sharif and willing and he is willing to invest in housing and real estate projects in Pakistan. Taqreeb ka ahtamam Pakistan Policy Institute ne kiya tha. Brigadier Shafiq ne taqreeb ke baad Pakistani American community ki mutadid tanzimo aur media se khususi mulaqat ki aur karardat ke asl haqaiq bataye. Pakistan Army ki taraf se is tarha Pakistani American community aur media ke saath pehla direct rapta hai.